EDA Builder. Automating the library creation process. How do we take a 1600 pin BGA component datasheet and automate the schematic symbol and matching PCB footprint in a fraction of the time? Let's start by invoking EDA Builder, where I will bring up a PDF datasheet of a Cypress datasheet. We can extract a diagram such as these footprint maps or a table. Let's start by extracting a PDF table by invoking the Create Table Outline, enclosing the area that I wish to capture. Next, let's complete the table and then tag the table with the individual rows that I wish to ignore on data transfer. Once this is complete, I will select the export to transfer the PDF datasheet to the Scratchpad spreadsheet. Next, I will move to the Scratchpad spreadsheet where I have the PDF table extracted to the spreadsheet in a matter of seconds. Mapping the component cells in red, I will tag those cells as negated logic pins. In the original PDF datasheet, they have overbars, and I will tag the columns to give them very specific meaning from the PDF table to the Scratchpad spreadsheet. Next, I will select Copy Tag Columns to the main spreadsheet, transferring the content from the Scratchpad spreadsheet to the main spreadsheet. Moving to the main spreadsheet, I will check the data sheet where I have one error or warning, an invalid direction code. Checking the invalid direction code from the original PDF demonstrates a inconsistency in the original PDF data sheet. I will tag that particular cell with the specific direction and also correct the power and ground which are also inconsistencies from the original PDF datasheet. For those EDA tools such as Cadence Concept or DX Designer requiring unique PIN names, I can automate the unique PIN names for those specific EDA tools and I have a host of other accelerator commands. For example, a pin function code detector to pick up the negated logic or clock logic pins. I have now completed the spreadsheet entry and I'm ready to move to the symbol partitioner. The first step is to sort the spreadsheet. In this case I will sort first by pin name and then pin direction. Both automated utilities and interactive utilities exist for interactive placement of the symbol pins. In this case, I will first start with the automated, selecting 80 pins maximum on assign and perform an automatic assignment. Notice that it inserts extra spaces between the buses and I can interactively select and move the pins to the desired location. I can also use the interactive drag and drop to interactively place the pins. Demonstrating this capability, let's move and unassign the symbol fractured set. Selecting the first symbol fracture, I will begin the interactive partitioning process by selecting the drag and drop. Selecting the CP bus and dropping it to the left side. And notice the VPP pin pushes the remaining pins down on a particular side. Interactively moving the IO bus to the right side the reset and service to the right side, the address bus, and if I miss a single pin as I have in, done in this particular case, I simply select the pin and drag and drop it to the desired location. As I place the clock E and RW, it will push the remaining pins. Moving to the second symbol fracture and automating a second symbol, I will place the VDD on the left, the VSS on the right, and the no connect pins on the top. I have now completed a 64 pin schematic symbol set in a fraction of the time. I can select my styles, move from a DX designer style to an ORCAD capture style, and notice the three pin whisker length and the appropriate properties. Let's configure the footprint builder and automate a complete 
footprint in a matter of seconds. Component calculators for CFQs, BGAs, CHIP, CHIP arrays, CQFPs, DFNs, LCCs, LGAs, molded diodes, PLCCs, QFNs and Ps, SODs and SODs FLs, SLs, SONs, Ps, SOTs, and TO, along with a host of advanced connector and header calculators for DBs, micros, DTLs, and shrouded headers. The most complete set of calculators in the PCB industry. Selecting the QFP package, I will now perform an interactive compare by annotating the pin name, direction, function, and pin group code from the schematic symbol model directly to the footprint and comparing the symbol model to the footprint, highlighting any differences by showing all terminals with missing pin assignments. In this case, the two fiducials and one thermal. If I had a missing pin in the original schematic symbol spreadsheet, it would highlight in this particular view. Configuring both the footprint and the symbol builder, I can interactively probe and cross probe and correlate and match the symbol model to the footprint. The next step is to export my symbol model to a host of EDA tools, including ORCAD, Allegro DE HDL, DX Designer, Pads Logic, or Mentor Design View Design Capture. Exporting the part to ORCAD Capture. Interactively bringing up the part, I now have the complete part extracted to my OLB library. Completing the symbols, I will now move to the PCB export, where we have exports to a host of EDA tools, including ORCAD PCB Allegro export and PADS layout export. Exporting the part and transferring the content, in this case, directly to Allegro.